All right, everyone, let's paint something. Today, I'm going to use the Alpha 5 figure. Uh, like the Megazord, I really like the design of the toy, but it lacks a lot of paint. I really like the movie. What about you guys? So before we get started painting him, let's take a look side by side at the toy and what he should look like. Side by side with the movie design, you can see the sculpt work is perfect, but with a bit more color, getting rid of some of that gray, it's going to do a lot. I've got a good technique to fill in all those small spaces, so let's get to it. I recommend washing your figures first. Check out my prepping plastics video if you haven't already. I've washed off most of the factory paint with this guy also. Most of the paints I'm going to be using today are high flow acrylics. These apply really well with little to no brush strokes after. I'm going to be applying chrome to Alpha's head so the first thing I want to do is apply a gloss black base. I really find this works best when uh, trying to do a chrome finish. apply white to the globe part of his head just to give myself a clean base layer to start from. I've got this Molotow liquid chrome pen that I found on Amazon. It's got a really sharp look to it so I'll be using that instead of spray painting this. Uh, one thing you want to do is make sure your base coat is completely dry before applying your chrome and once you do apply your chrome you're going to want to let it dry for about 12 hours because it's really really prone to collecting fingerprints and scuff marks. This pen dries really really smooth so you don't even need to worry about filling in areas in one direction just uh, color it in. that is shiny. Now to the body. Just like a black wash, you can find washes in almost any color, so I'm going to use a blue wash on Alpha before starting to paint. Just apply this like any wash, let it sit for about 15 minutes. Uh, there's going to be a few areas I'm avoiding so I can hit those with a black wash afterwards. I'm applying a thick amount because I really want to get this to sink into those grid areas. forget the hands and feet. I like to put these on little pegs. It just makes it easier to paint. Once your wash is dry, you can start wiping it off. If you find it difficult to get certain areas, don't be afraid to use some rubbing alcohol for help. Now I'm going to do some detail work on the body. I'll be going over all the red with a metallic red, leftover gray areas with a silver and a gunmetal, and some metallic blue to highlight some areas also.
It's pretty tedious work, but it does pay off in the end. Now to get the smoky look on the head, I'm applying a metallic blue first. Once that's dry, I'll be going over it with this CraftSmart gold pen. I'm going to dab a bit out on a palette and just brush it on. I'll be doing the eyes with this as well. Once your gold's dry, apply a bit of rubbing alcohol to your paintbrush and start rubbing that onto the head. This is going to start to remove some paint layers, giving that smoky look afterwards. Now there really is no right or wrong for this technique, just do it until you get that look you want. And let's take one final look at before, and before applying my final black wash to certain areas and to really highlight the look on his head, I applied a clear gloss coat. I really suggest doing this even just to seal your figure so it doesn't chip easily when you're finished. I also drilled some holes in his legs and added a few more wires that I felt were missing. Well that went pretty well I think. If you're wondering about any of the products I've used, you can check out the description below and there's going to be a nice list there for the Energem contest. What the... In about two weeks I'll be announcing the winner, well exactly two weeks. All I want you guys to do is write a comment below about customizing, um, fears you've had, reasons you've started, or toys you've customized. Uh, for example, um, one of the reasons why I got started was to get things a little more show accurate or movie accurate, or just to look the way they're supposed to. Another reason was to create things that they, big companies didn't make for us. Um, a fear I've had. Uh, before getting started is when I was a little kid uh, I used acrylics for doing models and I found no matter how hard I tried those models would not look good so when people tell me now or when I got started to use acrylic paints I instantly thought that thick grimy paint um, my best suggestion for you guys is find out what works best for you and use it that doesn't mean don't take suggestions, but when you find a paint or a product that you really, really like using, continue to use it. Uh, to Lord Cyberram, uh, my next paint video, I will be doing the Legacy Sabertooth Tiger. I haven't found the T-Rex yet, so I'm waiting to see that, but the, the Sabertooth Tiger is on my two paint list. Alright, so that's going to be it for now, so be sure to like and comment on this video for your chance to win some Energems, subscribe, click that little bell so you stay updated, and I'll see you guys in two weeks.